Hello, Semper Solaris employees. Welcome to ADP Time and Attendance Training. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to clock in and out using ADP Time and Attendance. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and sign into Workforce Now. This will bring you to what I call the landing page or your home page. At the top, you have three tabs, Home, Resources, and Myself. Right now, we're going to focus on clocking in and out. On the landing page, you do see we have the announcements and some company spotlight awards. Also, you can click this link here to learn more about your benefits. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page where we will find my time. I'm going to show you how to clock in and out using notes or without notes, meal out or meal in with and without notes and how to clock into a job code. So let's start fresh. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and you just got to work. You'd want to go ahead, log in, and clock in. And the operation is successful. However, let's say that you have technical troubles this morning and you were not able to clock in. In this case, you're going to want to let your manager know that they need to please edit that time card. So go ahead and click the drop down arrow and clock in with notes. You can leave this reason here and you can just explain to your manager what it is you need for them to do. In other words, give them accurate details of the expectation. In this case, I'm going to say, please clock me in at 8 a.m. Could not access ADP. All you do is click Save, and that note will be shown on your time card. And when your manager goes through them, they will see the note and be able to edit it. Your manager cannot edit your time card unless there's a note on it. The same would be true for Meal Out. If you're ready to go to lunch, you just click Meal Out and the operation will be successful. However, let's say that you left later and you forgot to clock out. In this case, you can do the same thing as clocking in and you can meal out with notes. And sometimes we forget to clock out, so. Left at 12 p.m. So I'm being very specific. Remember, all hourly non-exempt employees must take at least a 30-minute meal break before their fifth hour. So make sure that you're taking those meal breaks. Go ahead and save your punch, and it will go on your time card. Now you're going to come back from lunch. All you need to do is sign in and meal return, and it will go ahead and record your punch. Now you're leaving for the day. In this case, we're going to clock out with notes for the day. Let's just say that for some reason you weren't able to get into ADP to clock out. So let's go ahead and clock out with notes and let your manager know what, what edit they need to make on your behalf. Sometimes we all have technical difficulties. and you're letting them know left at 5.30 ADP unavailable. That way they'll go ahead and change that out time to 5.30. Let's say you're an employee that clocks in and out into job codes. You're going to go ahead and use the transfer and punch. You click the drop down arrow and click transfer and punch. In this screen you'll see the department is displayed. Never change the department. The only thing you're going to do is go ahead and search for the job number that you want to allocate these hours to. You can go ahead and start typing in numbers to search for it if you know what it is. Or you can click the search button and it will display all of them. Let's go ahead and use this one for the example. 
Once you find the correct job number or job code, you click Save and it will record it. You can also clock in and out to job codes with notes. Same scenario. If there's an adjustment that needs to be made, find your job number or job code, put your note in, and save it. And that's how easy it is to use my time in ADP Time in Attendance. Thank you.